everywhere I go, how come most people don't believe in UFOs? You must be the only scientist that believes in UFOs. Let's look at the facts. Here are the results of four Gallup polls that have been taken asking the same question. Do you think UFOs are real, imaginary, or you're not sure? Even back in the mid-60s, before we'd been to the moon, the believers outnumbered non-believers one and a half to one. In the late 70s, it was better than two to one believers over non-believers. Now, admittedly, sometimes the data's been sort of misrepresented because they leave out the not sure types. I remember a newspaper headline that said only 46% believe in UFOs, implying that 54% did not. The fact was only 29% did not. The rest couldn't make up their mind one way or another. Anyway, you'll notice and the most recent of the polls, and there was another one within the last couple of years, shows the same result. The believers still outnumber the non-believers by one and a half to one. Now, every politician would like odds like that at the election. Now, a skeptic might say at this point, hey, I know why that is. That's because all those supermarket tabloids have convinced people that there's something to flying saucers, right? wrong. That's a testable hypothesis. If it were true that it was the influence of the crazy stories in the tabloids, then presumably the greater the education, the less likely to believe in flying saucers, because I think it's fair to expect that people with more education are going to be less influenced by the tabloids. Well, if you look at the bottom of this information, the bottom part of this story, you'll see quite the reverse. Now, admittedly, for adults, and this is all adults now, it's not children, adults with only a great school education, the non-believers slightly outnumber the believers. Getting a high school diploma makes believers over non-believers two to one. And with a college background, it's almost three to one. Simple conclusion, the better the education, the greater the education of the individual, the more likely to believe in flying saucers. I've often wondered, what if all of us in the world discovered that we were threatened by an outer a power from outer space, from another planet. Wouldn't we all of a sudden find that we didn't have any differences between us at all? Ronald Reagan made allusions to alien forces not once, but five different times, including a speech before the United Nations. And why did he say that five times? Once it's a nice figure of speech, but he said it in the United Nations, he said it to Gorbachev in Geneva, Gorbachev responded saying you didn't disagree with him? He said it at a high school in Maryland. Why bring that up unless there was some reason for bringing it up? The greater the education, the more likely to believe. That's exactly the opposite of what the skeptics have been trying to tell us for decades, but they don't have any data. If you're a believer, you're with the cream of the crop. It's time to come out of the closet. You're not at the bottom of the barrel. Let's stop being apologist ufologist and closet ufologist. Let's tell it like it is.